Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the top reinforcing at the continuous edge for slab two. So just to show you where we're at, we're looking at slab number two. So this slab has one, two, three different continuous edges. Now a good thing to do at the start is just to get a bit of perspective of the problem and what this actually means graphically. So if I show you our slab we looked at for the bottom reinforcing, we had this slab over here, LY was 10 meters and LX is eight meters, LY being the long edge, and LX being the short span. So LX is the short span, LY is the long span. Now, when we come and find our spacing, for LX, the spacing, so the bars for the, um, the top edge is what the bars span across. So these bars, these blue bars, span across LX and their spacing, so this will be the spacing for X. These red bars span LY. You can see they go across the span LY and the spacing is this spacing here. So just to show you a little picture of what it's gonna look like. The reason this is a good idea is because in the next video when we find the discontinuous edge, you actually don't need to find both LX and LY. You can just do it for one. But in this case, you can see that we need reinforcing in this direction and in this direction. But for the discontinuous edge, there's only reinforcing in this direction, okay? So you're not gonna have to find both values. So it's a good idea just to draw a little picture of what's going on, so you can sort of um, have some conceptual and graphical idea of the problem. So we're first gonna be doing uh, the span LX. So for this span here, we're gonna find the, sp the spacing along this edge there. So the span LX, we look at clause 6.10.3.2. So we saw this for slab one, that for a the design bending moments, we go to section B, the negative design bending moments at a continuous edge is 1.33 times the mid span values. So if I just zoom in for you, in case you haven't seen it for slab one, you multiply the mid span moments by 1.33. And we saw for slab one, a quicker way of doing it was just multiplying the area by 1.33. So the area we need is 1.33 times the area at mid span, which is 1.33. The area at mid span parallel